Hello students, uh, so we are finally here with our amendments for May 2022. We wanted to share these with you way too early, but uh, things happened such that we could not do it. But better late than sorry. But uh, one thing to understand is we still have an advantage in this. You're going to see these videos very fresh. Okay, so you might not have to revise this three, four times. When you see them now, once mostly there are not many amendments, there are not much confusion. So this would stay with you for a longer time and you might not have to see the video three, four times. Currently, let us start with what are the amendments? How is it given? ICI has given amendments at three places currently. Okay. So the reason why students are panicking is like, where all are the amendments? What all do I have to see? So you don't have to worry too much. The amendments, we have compiled them at one place just to explain you how things are. So first of all, uh, let us just see, you know, how the amendments would go. Amendments for May 2022 are given at three places. One is obviously in your study material of October 2021. Second thing is when they have given a small booklet of amendments for May 2022, which is of eight pages. I'm just talking about CA final law. Other than that, also in RTP, as they always give amendments, they have given some inclusions and exclusions. Okay, so three places to cover. One is your October edition of study material. Second is your eight pages booklet. And third one, not to forget, is RTP. Okay. So first we'll talk about RTP. See, whatever is there in your study material, we've covered that in our class. Okay. So that is not much to bother. If there is something important that I have to tell you by the end of this session, this class, this video, I'll tell you all of that. Okay currently moving ahead and talking about the exclusions inclusions and exclusions from the syllabus so for that this is given in your rtp okay do not forget currently what we are talking about is your rtp now rtp has given you one such table which has chapters topics of the syllabus inclusions and exclusions okay now anybody who has seen the previous rtp or uh, notifications before this attempt you would know this table is not anything completely new. This table we've been seeing for almost like two attempts by now. This is the third attempt when this table has been printed again. So do not worry. There is something new, something old in this, but it's not a completely new table. Do not forget this, please. So first of all, talking about part one, this table is there in RTP, so you don't need any, ma'am, uh, is there any book for amendment, is there any sheets for amendment, any notes. RTP and amendment notes given by ICI work wonders for you. Okay, so now talking about that, uh, section uh, part one, section A, company law. In company law, they have given this the entire content included in October 2021 edition and legislative amendments to be hosted on the website. This is those amendments of eight pages that have been hosted later shall only be relevant. Whereas relevant rules to the extent covered in the edition shall only be relevant. Okay. And following sections of Companies Act are excluded. Now, if you see this exclusions ka list, you are not seeing it for the first time. And probably when you took classes for May 2022 attempt, these sections were never taught to you. It's not that you had studied and now you have to, you know, uh, just uh, go back and cancel it from your books. No, you don't have to unlearn anything. These were not covered in your classes. I am pretty sure if you've done classes elsewhere also, if they were teaching you for this attempt, they have not covered these because they had these provisions were removed even earlier. Okay, so it's not that they were removed from May 2022 attempt. They were not there in your November, which later on became December 21 attempt as well. Okay, so uh, for example, I'll tell you easiest section 408 to 419. These are NCLT provisions and NCLT, which is like constitution of NCLT, constitution of NCLAT term. These things have not been taught to you because these were removed earlier. Producer company has not been taught to you because they've been removed earlier okay so this is not something new that you have to unlearn you have already not been taught all of this moving ahead to section b secra everybody knows securities contract regulation act has been removed from the syllabus we all know this because this notification came earlier we have sent it on telegram to all our students that these two chapters are not to be studied one 
is SCRA, another is Surfazy. But I am again telling you this, Surfazy will now form part of economic laws which is the optional paper in second group, not in the first group. Okay, so coming back SCRA but honestly I am really sad to know this because this was such an important uh, chapter, this was so much knowledgeable, there was so much you could learn from this but okay, we are making CA syllabus easy but uh, I hope students also find it easy someday because we have already uh, while re re reducing the syllabus I say I already believe that they have made it easy. Now let's see when do you guys find it easy. So moving ahead there is no inclusion obviously because the whole chapter has been excluded. Okay moving ahead and talking about <coughs> sorry uh, SEBI LODR and SEBI Act in this again the whole uh, study material has been included and LODR uh, regulations and I tell my students all this time I've told all of you SEBI is not an act it's a bible okay I tell all the students it's so much so much so much inside it and everything is important okay then, but on the other hand everything does not form part of CA final syllabus similarly LODR regulations everything is not a part of your syllabus so when you go reading authors books and you come across new provisions and you're like bam this was not there in the study material so one thing to understand is something which is not in ICI study material is not in your syllabus okay so again the same thing they've clarified over here that only whatever is covered in the study material will be applicable okay now talking about exclusions so these sections and guys please keep your common sense working huh? just don't throw it away uh, <laughs> somewhere because as soon as you oh amendment amendment meko padna padega. I want somebody to explain it to me if you keep your brains working you are all capable enough to crack a lot of many things guys okay unfortunately I have not made a video of me in this uh, class because uh, I'm not keeping well these days as you can uh, realize by my voice also uh, so because of which I am not there to uh, you can't see me but obviously you can hear me well okay you all are capable enough to crack itna common sense that when they say excluded sections are section 21b 21c 21d everybody knows section 2 is definitions right we all know section 2 is definitions so you don't need to uh, you know uh, have rocket science to understand o oh, to uh, to exclude what okay what two is definitions obviously and for just for your knowledge that definitions are excluded many of you would be like to take a minute on the definition but obviously you guys don't study definitions unless you're forced to do that to to me we see me but other so it's okay but still if you wish to know the two one b is chairman ka definition to one c is definition of existing securities and uh, exchange board a definition of fund is d f is notification g is definition of prescribed so and now coming to the important thing that what is section 21 25 28 33 and 35 21 is savings 25 is exemption from tax on wealth and income 28 is power to exempt that is cg's power to exempt 33 is amendment of certain enactments and 35 is repeal and savings these were not there any which ways when we learned this chapter okay so do not worry there is nothing that you know you've missed or you don't know moving ahead uh, so you have FEMA in FEMA again they've said that whatever is included this is not for the first time guys this has been there earlier also this has been notified earlier also external commercial borrowing to apne book may be hai so you know obviously overseas direct investments import of goods and services so these regulations are already there in the book Q because this notification had already come they just because every attempt RTP may kuch to dena padega so they've reprinted the same notification in this matter okay uh, so now FEMA there are certain sections excluded it's not again nothing new as you see section 2 CC 2 GG obviously that means they are definitions so uh, for your knowledge if you wish to know ma'am wo kya tha because maine koi aur author ka book padha hai usme to raha hoga na so for that i'll tell you 2 cc is authorized officer 2 gg is competent authority okay okay so 16 2 is uh, order by cg for appointing the adjudicating authorities 16 6 is adjudicating authorities dealing with complaint 17 4 is order by special directors appeals 
पावर ऑफ स्पेशल डायरेक्टर अपील्स है सेवेंटीन सिक्स नाइनटीन टू थर्टी फोर एज दिस हेड हेज बीन एक्सक्लूडेड इज वेरियस सेक्शन रिलेटिंग टू एजुडिकेशन एंड अपील्स तो पूरा प्रोसेस है वो थर्टी सेवन टू टू सॉरी थर्टी सेवन सबसेक्शन टू टू थर्टी सेवन सबसेक्शन थ्री सो दैट मीन्स बोथ द सबसेक्शंस इज सी जी नोटिफिकेशन फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग कॉन्ट्रवेंशन एंड सबसेक्शन थ्री इज पावर ऑफ ऑफिसर ओके आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस जस्ट फॉर योर नॉलेज ऑनेस्टली यू डोंट इवन नीड टू नो दम बट ठीक है थर्टी सेवन ए स्पेशल प्रोविजन्स रिलेटिंग टू असेट्स हेल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया फोर्टी फाइव इज रिमूवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टीज फोर्टी सिक्स ये जनरल पावर्स हैं पावर टू मेक रूल्स पावर टू मेक रेगुलेशन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ये हैं फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टी एट ओके ऑल अदर फेम रेगुलेशन हैव बीन एक्सक्लूडेड एक्सेप्ट दोज विच हैव बीन इंक्लूडेड तो फेमा इज स्टिल ईजी ठीक है डो नॉट पैनिक की बापरे फेमा में क्या क्या आ गया ठीक है नाउ टॉक अबाउट सरफेज ही हैज़ बीन रिमूवड ऑब्वियसली एवरीबडी इज़ वेरी हैप्पी एवरीबडी इज़ हैप्पी बट दिस गोज नाउ इन टू इकनॉमिक लॉज ओके इकोनॉमिक लॉस विच इज सेकेंड लाइक सेकेंड ग्रुप ओके ना मूविंग अहेड पी एम एल ए प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट ओवे यर अगेन द सेम एवरी थिंग विच इज गिवेन इन द स्टडी मटेरियल इज कवर्ड एंड वॉट इज एक्सक्लूडेड इफ यू सी अगेन यूज योर ब्रेन्स सेक्शन टू ऑल द सब सेक्शन गिवेन एंड टू डेफिनेशन सो द होल टू गोज ओके सो डेफिनेशन हैव बीन रिमूवड सिक्स थ्री सिक्स फिफ्टीन सिक्स थ्री इज डिसक्वालिफिकेशन फॉर अपॉइंटमेंट एज मेम्बर ऑफ ए ए सिक्स फिफ्टीन दीज आर रिमूवड सेक्शन ओके सिक्स फिफ्टीन इज एडुडिकेटिंग अथॉरिटी नॉट बाउंड बाई कोड ऑफ सिविल प्रोसीजर सेवन इज स्टाफ ऑफ एडुडिकेटिंग अथॉरिटीज सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर समन सर्चेज सीजर सीजर एक्सेट्रा ट्वेंटी सेवन टू थर्टी फोर हैज बीन ओमिटेड नॉट जस्ट फ्रॉम यर दे बीन ओमिटेड फ्रॉम द एक्ट एज वेल Uh, is appellate tribunal not bound by code of civil procedure 35 325 to orders and proceedings of appellate tribunal 36 distribution of business amongst benches 37 power of chairman to transfer cases 39 right of appellant to take representative and of government to appoint presenting officers 40 is members etc not to be public servants 49 to 54 is authorities 73 is power to make rules 74 is rules to be laid before parliament 75 is rule power to remove difficulties okay now moving ahead fcra that is the next amendment that you have from fcra again the same whatever is given in the study materials to be covered what is removed is again definitions other than that 21 23 to 27 these i can tell you what are they definitions there are many but just for your knowledge i'll tell you Association का definition, authorized person in foreign exchange का definition has been removed, bank का definition has been removed, candidate for election, so there are many. I have the whole list. So if you ever want the list, just uh, comment down and I'll give you the list. But it is not going to help you. This is just time waste for you. So avoid all this. Twenty one intimate by intimation by candidate for election. Twenty three to twenty seven inspection, search and seizure. Forty four returns by prescribed authority. protection of action taken in good faith 45 49 is orders and rules to be laid before parliament 53 is power to remove difficulties and 54 is repeal and savings okay these have been removed from fcra which were any which was not being done with you in class now moving ahead arbitration cancellation whatever is given in the chap in the study material is only covered okay other than that for ibc again there is nothing new अब तक ऑल्सो वी बिन टीचिंग यू ओनली टिल सेक्शन फिफ्टी नाइन सिक्सटी हमने आपको नहीं पढ़ाया ओके सो डो नॉट वरी डो नॉट पैनिक ना मूविंग हेड दिस ईयर वी कम डाउन टू दैट एट पेज का बुकलेट गिवन बाई आई सी आई ओके ना वी आर नॉट ऑन आर टी पी वी आर ऑन दैट बुकलेट सो यर इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ अमेंडमेंट्स विच इज बिंग गिवन इन दैट बुकलेट फॉर कंपनीज एक्ट अल्टीमेटली दिस होल थिंग इवन इफ यू रीड इट जस्ट मीन्स रूल फोर विल बी ओमिटेड ना वॉट इज रूल फोर नाउ गाइज लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली do you know uh, we have section 173 which is board meeting there are certain things which cannot be dealt through audio visual means like board meeting can be done physically or it can be done through audio visual means so there are certain there is a list of transactions or powers that cannot be exercised through audio visual means now due to covid there was an extension given that till this date you can exercise it through audio visual means the only change is now that rule itself has been removed but now there is nothing that can not be done through audio visual means so in our book or if you're doing any other book also over there also uh, somewhere around section 173 you will find this that earlier there was a rule 
that up till 30th june these things could be done through audio visual means but now this whole list approval of annual financial statements approval of board report approval of prospectus these were the five items which could not be done through audio visual means which have now been removed that means now every matter can be discussed through audio visual means of board meeting also okay every matter can be discussed through audio visual means of board meeting also make sense okay now coming to the next amendment so uh, here they've just given an exemption oh this this thing comes earlier no worries these are the sections guys theek hai for foreign company if you know these were the rules that if a foreign company or a company incorporated outside india wants to do this for these things they had rules right these rules were for dating of prospectus uh, you know whenever a foreign company or a company incorporated outside india whenever they want to make any issue in india they had to follow all these rules but now there is an exception that if the investment is towards ifsc international financial service center then the same foreign company or a company incorporated outside india will get an exemption from all these provisions okay so section 387 to 392 will not apply if it is for an ifsc okay chota sa amendment not something very big moving ahead next so your the following explanation has to be inserted so there is just a new explanation inserted in foreign companies chapter okay that for the purpose of this clause electronic based offering of security subscription or listing of securities in the international financial service center set up under section 18 of the special economic zone shall not be construed as electronic mode for the purpose of clause 242 section 2 again definition so ultimately what we are trying to say is this exemption of ifsc is continued here also so when you doing it in electronic modes but for ifsc it will not be counted okay moving ahead uh, central government here by amends the company's appointment qualification rules okay now there is something i want you to read this carefully first of all so that i can tell you where is this going this is a bigger amendment looks like it's a bigger amendment but not too much this is what is given in the amendment sheet okay that eight page sheet your what they are saying is do you know there was a self assessment test to be taken last attempt uh, like in december 21 a new amendment came which said that to become id to be qualified to be an id you have to give a self assessment test okay rule 6 spoke about that test first of all okay so all these amendments are with respect to that test so now what is the amendment accordingly in rule 6 in sub rule 4 in the first proviso for clause b the following clause shall be substituted cool okay no problem this is the clause to be substituted okay and uh, i am going to sub point 3 after second proviso the following proviso shall be inserted namely that provided also the following individuals who have been or at least 10 years advocate uh, chartered accountant cost accountant cs will not be required to give self assessment test okay now you would be thinking ma'am ye kahan fit hota hai let's go and understand where does this fit so uh there was this compliances this is rule 6 okay compliance is required by a person eligible and willing to be appointed as id okay in rule 6 over this comes sub rule 4 which is every individual whose name is so included in data bank that is that means id shall pass online proficiency test this was given in sub rule 4 okay in this this was given as a proviso that provided that an individual shall not be required to pass the test when he has served for a total period of not less than 3 years as following in that following that b wala point has been substituted so that means if he has been in the pay scale of a director or equivalent or above in any ministry or department then he did need not give this proficiency test okay and uske baad there was an explanation for the purpose of this rule in that explanation they added a point saying that these people like 10 years experience wale advocate practicing ca practicing cs practicing cost accountant uh, don't have to give this self assessment test okay makes sense okay moving ahead next amendment is sebi ldr these are your sebi ldr regulations guys half the amendments listen to me very carefully half the amendments are grammar okay they are pure grammar so i just want you to understand that grammar ke liye tension nahi lete hain 
ओके सो एनी बडी वॉज वर्ड क्योर यू एल डी आर में कितना अमेंडमेंट आया मालूम है अभी मालूम पड़ जाएगा आपको इज दैट इज वाई टेल ऑल माई स्टूडेंट्स की कभी पढ़ो तो सही उसको ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस अमेंडमेंट इफ यू सी एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोविजन अंडर रेगुलेशन थ्री शाल बी नंबर्ड एज वन सो अमेंडमेंट क्या है री नंबर हो गया वो अमेंडमेंट 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 इफ लाइक मैम आई कैंट रीड इट ओनली आई जस्ट मार्क इट सो दैट यू कैन रीड इट नाउ ओके सो इफ यू सी दैट वे इट इज जस्ट बीन री नंबर्ड ओके नेक्स्ट नाउ द न्यूली नंबर्ड सब रेगुलेशन वन विच वॉज अर्लियर थ्री द वर्ड अपियरिंग आफ्टर द द वर्ड द एंड द वर्ड टू एंड द वर्ड लिस्टेड शेल बी सब्सिट्यूटेड विद द वर्ड अ एंड द वर्ड हू शेल बी सब्सिट्यूट विद द वर्ड विच एंड द कम ऑन यार प्लीज दिस इज जस्ट ग्रामर ओके ना ऑनलाइन ट्रेडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म इज नाउ कॉल्ड एज इनोवेटर्स ग्रोथ प्लेटफॉर्म ओके सब रेगुलेशन टू शेल बी इंसर्टेड दिस इज न्यू सब रेगुलेशन टू विच विल कम substituted clause b of sub regulation 1 with the following that non convertible debt securities non convertible redeemable preference shares perpetual debt instrument perpetual non cumulative preference shares with the non convertible securities okay this is the definition okay in sab ki jagah you get non convertible securities now in sab ke individual naam the ab ek hi bar bol lo inserted the following sub regulation 3 the provisions of these regulations which become applicable to listed entities on the basis of the criterion of the value of outstanding listed debt securities shall continue to apply to such entities even after they fall below such threshold so that means once applicable always applicable makes sense nothing very difficult i have one thing you know i tell all of you in class ki do not directly panic dekh to lo kya hai itna difficult aaya bhi hai kya kuch bas dar jane ka don't do that so amended regulation 3 unless otherwise provided these regulations shall apply to a listed entity which has listed any of the following designated securities on recognized stock exchange so here do you see that innovators growth platform non convertible securities so ultimately change okay ab ye aisa dikhta hai what i just explained you now it looks like this so you have 2 and 3 also added so this is not an amendment ye amend hone ke baad this is how it looks like okay now in regulation 6 in the heading the symbol and word her oblique her shall be inserted after the word his इनको रियलाइज हुआ वेमेन एम्पावरमेंट दे रियलाइज इन द लॉ हाउ कुड यू नॉट राइट हिज के बाजू में हर सो दे जस्ट टू करेक्ट दर मिस्टेक दे मेड इट लाइक दिस ओके कंप्लायंस ऑफिसर एंड हिज हर ऑब्लिकेशन बिकॉज अर्ली इट वॉज ओनली हिज ऑब्लिकेशन सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेर इट टेकिंग वेर दे आर टेकिंग दिस पैराग्राफ आफ्टर क्लॉज टू शेल बी इंसर्टेड एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड द वर्ड सब रेगुलेशन इन द पैराग्राफ शेल बी सब्सिट्यूटेड विद द वर्ड रेगुलेशन सो नाउ यू हैव एन एक्सप्लेनेशन इंसर्टेड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ दिस रेगुलेशन नेक्स्ट इन रेगुलेशन एटीन वन डी दैट इज इन रेगुलेशन एटीन सब रेगुलेशन वन क्लॉज डी द सिम्बल एंड वर्ड ही ऑब्लिक शी शेल बी इंसर्टेड आफ्टर द वर्ड ही सो अगेन चेयरपर्सन के भी बाजू में ही और शी लगाना पड़ेगा हाँ पीपल ऑल एक माम सभी में कितना अमेंडमेंट है देखा तुमने देखा डिड यू सी द अमेंडमेंट्स नॉट टू मे नहीं सो डोंट वेरी नेक्स्ट Uh, in sub regulation 2 shall be substituted with the following now this is important risk management committee shall have minimum 3 members with majority of them being the members of board including at least one id and in case of listed entity having outstanding sr equity shares at least two thirds of the risk management committee shall comprise of id now this is important guys please mark a star here the word once shall be substituted with the following word twice After sub regulation three a and before sub regulation four, following new sub regulation three b and three c have to be inserted. Now these are new sub regulations. This this part is still useful. Okay, <coughs> sorry. So three b quorum for a meeting of risk management committee shall be either two members or one third of the members of the committee, whichever is higher, including at least one member of the board of directors in attendance. Three C. The meetings of risk management committee shall be conducted in such a manner that on continuous basis, not more than one hundred and eighty days, shall elapse between any two. This is frequency of their meetings. Okay. Now, after sub regulation four, the following new proviso shall be inserted, provided that the role and responsibilities of risk management committee shall mandatorily include the performance of functions specified in Part D of Schedule. 
in sub regulation 5 500 becomes 1000 after sub regulation 5 sub regulation 6 has to be inserted okay so now this is what your amended regulation looks like isse acha aise i kuch nahi de sakta tha aapko guys i say i couldn't have made a better amendment sheet than this so if you counting the pages realize they have given amendments first then they have given what the amended part looks like so this is your amended regulation okay so understand when you read it you will understand ki what have given your ca final students yaar so top 500 has become fire top 1000 so this is the amended part okay again in 24 sub section uh, sub regulation 5 the words e or equal to shall be inserted after the words less than and before the words 50% so this is again your amended regulation a listed entity shall not dispose of shares in its material subsidiary resulting in reduction of its share holding to less than or equal to 50% because i hope you are understanding subsidiary is more than 50 if it becomes 50 it's not your subsidiary right next regulation 26 in sub regulation 1 the word she shall be inserted after he the word high value debt listed entities have been added after the word foreign companies and this is your amended regulation okay coming to regulation 272 substituted for the word 15 and inserted the word the end of each before the quarter so now when you had 15 days instead of 15 days you have 21 days from the end of each quarter okay so you are submitting your quarterly compliance report that you have to submit each quarter words where such proposal is communicated to the board of directors or the listed entity as a part of agenda papers so shall be omitted now in schedule 5 again say be allowed here paragraph c clause 5 shall be substituted with the following so this is a new part that is all together coming in your stakeholders relationship committee and risk management committee you have to give these details of th- uh, them in your board report okay talking about fema what is the amendment fema just has one amendment guys only one reserve bank of india uh, via a notification through the enforcement of fema export of goods and services regulations the following amendments in foreign exchange management goods regulations goods and services regulation has been amended in the principal regulation in regulation 15 sub regulation 1 for the clause 2 the following shall be substituted the rate of interest if any payable on the advance payment shall not exceed 100 basis points above london interbank libor that we know or other applicable benchmark as may be directed by rbi what we are talking about is when we are exporting goods if there is any advance payment okay that we have received on that interest should not exceed this limit is this okay now this is about those eight pages of your amendment sheet right now i have to wind this up but before i wind this up there is something very important i need to tell you guys there were certain amendments which were given for the previous attempt okay which were not asked in the previous attempt fully be very alert with respect to december 2021 amendments guys i see i can have them put up anywhere and one very important amendment that i want to get your attention to is it is this one guys there is an amendment in schedule 5 companies act so i am talking about schedule 5 which is directors chapter remuneration this amendment is very important be very alert with respect to all the amendments that have come for december 21 attempt because be prepared to have them in your attempt this time okay ensure that you go back and read those attempt with those amendments specifically so uh, they were given in the previous rtp also and if you want uh, this powerpoint uh, slide also i can share with you which you would need okay anyways coming back to the important amendment that i want all of you to pay attention to everywhere in you know uh, your schedule five always spoke about managerial remuneration to managerial person now wherever there is managerial person is, they are adding words like or other director so now basically schedule five is for everybody okay one thing to understand base please understand the base that now schedule five is for everyone okay now schedule five section 1 there only the words or managerial personnel ke baju mein they have added or other directors or directors in section 2 after the words managerial personnel other director shall be inserted now coming to section 2 if you remember guys there used to be a table of effective capital right a very 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 important thing that 
you have to remember this new thing has been added over here this one and this is not added today it's been time since this was added this was added in your december attempt basically as an amendment so i want all of you to be very alert to this that now if you're giving to managerial personnel so you had this you know effective capital less than uh five crores 60 lakh 84 lakh 120 you remember this very well okay now if it is for other directors then you have 12 lakh 17 lakh 24 lakh and 24 plus 0 0.01 everything else is same but this is a very important amendment okay now i have to wind it up anybody who has any doubts i've not been well for all this while i've not been able to entertain your doubts so please just resend them to me so that i'm able to solve those for you for uh, anything else you can just whatsapp me for whatsapp you can message on double seven one double zero five zero three eight three and uh, just message do not call please on whatsapp we reply on that number so please message us your doubts and we'll help you with it all the very best for your exams guys not been able to uh, meet you guys at for this attempt but i hope soon uh, near around your exams or after that also we'll surely come face to face all the very best guys and uh, apologies for the late amendments but when you study them towards the end you remember them for longer time right all the very best good luck and do let us know how much have they helped you in your in the comments thank you